Yeah, I like to make this simple to folks. Short tail, long tails. <laughs> don't matter, man. I don't know what you guys are looking at. You know? <laughs> Short tail, doesn't matter. They're all in it. You know? Cool day today. Got up to a whole 29 degrees. Tomorrow it's supposed to get a lot warmer. And hopefully that starts a trend. But I just sent off a uh, Need to updated my camera. Yeah, I just sent off a bunch of skyder alerts with these guys flying over, but as you can see how it spreads out and create your haze. Need a little sunset. Just had to send up. She doesn't go away. But remember they were doing this uh, back in the day, but now they have they say <laughs> it all perfected, right? So now they can just roll it out. These guys can eventually collide. I mean, look at that. <laughs> they do have to fly at least flight. I mean, they have to have permission or special permission to fly like this. But, yeah, I just flung off about 10 or 12 emails to my local representatives with photos attached with Skyder Alert. It's a very handy tool so you can download that at, at the uh, Google Play uh, app store there for free. You know it's a uh, good way to just let your officials know if you know what's going on and uh, this is your state too. And you don't agree that uh, policy that they've used to roll this out. At least they haven't. You know, one of the policies is confidentiality. You know. And last time I checked, this dirt right here, was, sorry, was bought and paid for. And I don't owe a banker a dime. So, uh, you know, why do they uh, find the need to do this? I mean, we haven't had any unusual solar activity, right? And, uh, well, we have a thunderstorm chance coming in on Thursday, you know. So, yeah, you got to move the weather around uh, nationally. So, you know how it goes. So, yeah, what's going on here goes on for the rest of the uh, country. So, uh, it's part of owning your weather there, folks, all over. It's a global operation for sure. So don't believe what you hear about that missing flight because the only country on earth that has the capability of making a Boeing 77 completely disappear without a trace. I'm sorry folks, there ain't no proof yet to me. But without a trace is the United States uh, of America. You know, there they crossed their paths over there. But I don't even think Russia or China even has the audacity or the technology to make a Boeing disappear, you know. You know, if they did, uh, it would be quite an operation. America would have to be on it because they really do uh, control the skies, man. That's the Air Force's goal, you know, is to own the weather and to own the skies, period. Uh, by the sooner date as possible, everybody, you know, talks about that, you know, document about owning the weather by 2025. That's by 2025. I, I guarantee you they own it now. Okay. But, yeah, got a good, nice little sunset here. And, uh, I'm telling you, I'd be surprised if they do find that flight. I really do. And, uh, you know, what's Russia doing? <laughs> Getting her way.
at that mudslide that happened with that poor town over there in Washington. A lot of people dead in that. And uh, BP Earthwatch got it right, though, it's because of clear cutting. You know, they didn't put anything in its place. You know, that soil washed away. So, uh, you know, unfortunately, that's what happens with some development. I mean, I don't blame the people that died, you know, but, you know, something happened to me here. I have to be aware of my environment. And uh, I am very well aware of my environment. So, uh, you know, you know, a lot of people there lost their lives. Just couldn't get there in time. And you know, what are you going to do when you're buried in mud? It's like concrete, you know, it really is. But it's that gorgeous sunset. Swing around and just show you the, the view overall on this beautiful Tuesday. Take care, y'all.